In today's video, we are going to be talking all about ostrich feather. How to incorporate ostrich feather into your outfit embellishments, just like what we have right here on the screen. If you'll be interested in knowing all about this, please make sure you watch this video all the way through. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, share with a friend, and don't hesitate to drop me any question or feedback that you have for me. Right guys, let's get straight into the meat and the potatoes of today's video. <laughs> Hello friends and welcome back to another tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching us a very simple analysis on how to embellish outfits with what we call ostrich feather. And I'm going to show us really quickly what an ostrich feather looks like. This item right here is what we call ostrich feather. I believe this is what is called all over the world. However, if for any reason in your own location, it's called a different name. This is what we call ostrich feather out here in Nigeria. Ostrich feathers come in different lengths, okay? This length, I think this is the short length, but we have one that is longer. In the picture or, I don't know if it's picture or video now that I put at the intro of this video, that gorgeous outfit made by Vicky James. The outfit is part of our new collection with our ready-to-wear brand, the Shop Erican collection. That length of ostrich feather at the edge of that outfit is the long length okay i don't know if the lengths come in sizes i don't know if that's maybe like the 10 inches length but this particular length that i have here let me just quickly measure it for us i've never taken time to measure it okay so this is about three and a half inches long the length of this particular ostrich feather is three and a half inches so maybe that one on vicky james outfits was maybe seven inches between seven and ten inches but to the best of my knowledge, we have the short length ostrich feather and the long length ostrich feather. We also have regular feathers. I believe the day I did a tour of Mr. Okoro's shop, I have that market vlog on my channel. I'm going to do my best to leave it on the screen. I showed us different types of feathers. So we have different types of feathers. This particular one is ostrich feather. And we see that a lot of designers incorporate this into outfits. However, for the longest time, I used to be so curious about those very tightly packed ones, like the outfit that we have right here on the screen. I used to wonder how do people go about getting their ostrich feathers to be really full, because this particular ostrich feather is not even cheap. I think the last time I checked, as at the time I bought this particular one that I have with me, which was a couple of months ago, it used to be sold 1,500 naira per yard. As of today, with the inflation that we've experienced over the past one month or two months thereabouts in Nigeria, I wonder how much it's being sold per yard. If you know how much ostrich feather is sold per yard, please let me know down in the comment section, especially if you live in Nigeria. Please let me know the latest price. So, about those tightly packed ones, I used to wonder how do people get these things to be so tightly packed? Like, how much do they spend on the feathers alone aside from the cost of making the outfit? But then... I made a new discovery and I thought to bring us a tutorial. The secret of creating those tightly packed feather embellished outfits is you need to do some deconstruction and manipulation with the feather to create a false or full fullness with your feathers. The feather looks full but you don't need to use too much feather and I'm going to illustrate. For this entire process of course you need your ostrich feather which is what I have right here in front of me. You also need your glue and for the sake of this work I'm going to be using hot glue, okay? So what you're going to do is to grab your scissors, okay? And you're going to cut these feathers into tiny pieces. I have this little piece of fabric right here. It's a leftover fabric that I used for the berets that i made i don't know if i've shared the tutorial on the channel or not if the tutorial is on the channel i'll do my best to link it on the screen i made some embellished berets it's part of my business i make blinged up berets for people well for people that attend my church so i shared that tutorial on the screen so i'm going to use this leftover damask fabric reinforced damask to do this you just want to take maybe like this something that is like this this much let me measure it for people that like to know measurements let me grab my tape roll real quick and give us the measurements of this quantity that I cut out this is about two inches or two two and quarter inches so maybe two inches you should stick to two inches and then I'm going to apply glue onto this length maybe somewhere at the center and then flip this over like so And then I'm just going to simply take this, apply some glue on it, like this, and then stick it onto my fabric, like so. 
when working with this entire process, you need to be very, very careful. Okay, it's your being careful that will allow you to create something very neat. For me, I've not really been doing a good job with being careful. That's why it's you can see glue here and there. So when you're working with outfits, please be more careful than I am right now. So this is how you'll be dividing the feathers and pasting it onto whatever it is they are trying to embellish. I'll do the same thing again. Apply some glue at this center or just along this rim right here. And then fold over like so. I'll continue doing this and show you guys how the fullness, we start to achieve the fullness. Okay, friends, so this is what I have here. I just want to check that my microphone is recording. All right, we're good. So this is what I have here. Everything I have here is about 28 inches of ostrich feather. So what I did, like you guys saw, was I went ahead to cut them into pieces, like pieces of approximately two, two inches, and I folded them over and I began to stick them to this piece of cloth. What I have here is two layers of ostrich feather. I still have another layer here that I could have easily filled up. So depending on how full you want the look of your ostrich feather to be, this entire process requires patience as usual. You need to chop it up into tiny pieces and start to glue them strategically to the portion of the outfit you are trying to make. Like you guys saw in that outfit, I'm going to try my best to also leave it on the screen for you all to see as well. What we have at the bottom of this outfit is a regular pencil dress very stunning in the outlook but then we saw that we saw that the ostrich feather at the hem of the dress just gave it a different vibe and it looks very tightly packed and full and just stunning so if you want to have that full effect for your feather on your outfit and you don't want to break the bank buying tons and tons of yards of feather you just need to take out time to implement this technique that i shared with us if you guys found this video valuable please be sure to give me a big fat thumbs up it supports my channel greatly if you also have another tip on how to achieve something like this maybe a different technique that you use in your own business please feel free to educate us down in the comments as well i like to learn from you guys like this video subscribe to this channel if you're yet to share this video with a friend and yeah friends i can't wait to see you in another video very very soon bye bye